pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Let the record show that all members of the City Council are present, with the exception of Councilman Ted Fairbank. <coughs> A copy of the Open Meetings Act is posted in the meeting room and is accessible to members of the public at any time during the course of this meeting. First item on the agenda is a proclamation, the proclamation titled Keep Nebraska Beautiful Day on June 26, 2021. The proclamation reads as follows. Whereas to focus the state's attention on the importance of keeping our communities clean, green, and beautiful, keep Nebraska beautiful, Local Keep American Beautiful affiliates and individuals are joining together to celebrate Keep Nebraska Beautiful Day. And whereas Nebraskans are encouraged to join in Keep Nebraska Beautiful Day by volunteering in their communities to clean up litter, plant new flowers, help a neighbor, and by pledging to end litter in Nebraska. And whereas participating in Keep Nebraska Beautiful Day 2021 is a way for Nebraskans to take actions that improve and beautify their communities. Now, therefore, I stand worth mayor of the city of Beatrice, do hereby proclaim June 26, 2021 as Keep Nebraska Beautiful Day in the city of Beatrice and urge all citizens to do so and to do their part to beautify our community. Witness my hand and official seal of the city of Beatrice this 21st day of June, 2021. And with us is the Executive Director of Keep Beatrice Beautiful, Linda Grell, whom I will present the proclamation to. Linda? I'd like to thank you for that proclamation. I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to just say a, a few comments. Uh, there's 21 other affiliates in, in Nebraska that will be asking their city to do the same proclamation. So it's going across the state. So thank you very much. I just want to just share a real small story. A uh, Boy Scout troop came down from Omaha and they were looking for a camping spot and Mark Pethod referred him to Riverside Park and they were over there until the rain drew them out. But uh, they asked me if they could have a service project and so I said yes, they could pick up litter. When I went back to pick up the supplies I'd taken them, they said they couldn't find one piece of litter at Riverside Park. So I just have to give a shout out to Mark Pethod and the Public Properties Department for doing a fantastic job in our city. And uh, all of our parks are, are just spotlessly clean and I think of all the people that come in from communities all over at all the ball fields that are always full. Uh, I just think it's a great thing for our city to look so clean and, and beautiful for them to come in and see. So thank you very much for the proclamation and thank you for keeping Beatrice clean and beautiful. Thank, thank you. you, Linda. Thanks to you and your committee for everything they do uh, for the city of Beatrice. Appreciate it. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. All items under the consent <coughs> agenda are considered to be routine by the City Council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a councilman so requests. First item is item A, approve agenda as submitted. Item B, receive in place on file all notices pertaining to this meeting. Item C, receive in place on file all materials having any bearing on this meeting. Item D, approval of minutes of regular meeting on June 7th, 2021, as on file in the city clerk's office. E, approval of treasurer's report of claims in the amount of $1,249,289.26. Item F, approval of Boswell report of claims in the amount of $50,453.39. Item G, refer claim of Doug Walker regarding damages to his personal property to the city attorney and the city insurance carrier for review and disposition. Item H, approval of manager application for Lance A. Kramer, license number uh, ID 044201 in connection with Hinky Dinky Supermarkets Incorporated doing business as Sunmart 737 at 1815 Court Street, Beatrice, Nebraska. Item I, resolution number 6733, granting Gage County Relay for Life and their designees permission to sell or offer for sale or peddle goods, wares or merchandise upon city property located in Charles Park, the public parking lot just south of the Carnegie Building, and the east-west <coughs> alley between Ellis Street and High Street, 
On August 14, 2021, between 3 p.m. and 11 p.m., J, Resolution Number 6734, granting Nick Jurgens and his designees permission to offer for sale food items upon the right of way along 4th Street between Court Street and Ella Street, immediately adjacent to his building located at 400 Court Street, Beatrice, Nebraska. <coughs> Item K, Resolution Number 6735, entering into an emergency dispatch services interlocal agreement with the City of Crete to operate an enhanced 911 system and a radio dispatching system for a term ending on September 30th, 2023. And Item L, Resolution Number 6736, <coughs> executing the letter of agreement extending the interlocal cooperation Act agreement with Gage County for the purpose of providing ambulance services in certain areas of Gage County, Nebraska through June 30th, 2022. Any item that any member wants removed from the consent agenda? Gentlemen? All right, and your vote, please. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Claybaugh. I Claybaugh. move that uh, the item listed on the consent agenda be accepted, be approved, accepted, and or ratified as presented. Second. Moved by Claybaugh, seconded by Morgan, that all items listed under the consent agenda be approved. Your vote, please. And that is approved. Um, looks like I'm doing something. That is approved 7-0. Next is a public hearing. Public hearing to consider amending section 302A of the subdivision ordinance of the City of Beatrice Ordinance Number 98-6 regarding the scope of administrative subdivisions. Mr. Templemeyer. So this has to do when you administratively subdivide a piece of property. A lot of times this happens when somebody wants to add 10 feet to their property or take 10 feet off and, and sell it to a neighbor. Um, we allow them to do that administratively. Process works fine, though we don't have any issues with that one. But we, we used to have in our code book that you couldn't do it twice to a property. So if you took 10 feet off one day, you couldn't come back and take another 10 <coughs> feet off sometime later. Largely just because it gets legal description <coughs> really complex and complicated. And so what we want to do is put back into the city code that says you can do it once, but if you want to do it a second time, you have to go through an actual platting process. Just basically cleans up the, the legal description. So no more do you own the north 10 feet of lot seven and the eight 30 feet of some other lot. Now you own lot one, block one of whoever subdivision or addition to the city of Beatrice. That's the change that we're pr proposing here. Planning and zoning hurt tonight. They recommended approval of it, so. Questions? Anyone from the audience? All right, I would recommend the public hearing be closed. I move that the public hearing be closed at 7.09 p.m. Second. Moved by Claybaugh, seconded by Billsbach, that the public hearing be closed at 7.09 p.m. Your vote, please. That is approved 7-0. Next is a resolution, resolution number 6737, establishing various fees. I move that resolution number 6737 be passed and adopted. Second. Moved by Claybaugh, seconded by Morgan, that resolution 6737 be passed and adopted. Tobias. Once again, we have one place we put all of our fees and that the city has that we charge for various things. Um, what dictated this was one, we found a fee in the garbage service that we needed to address. It had to do with compacted loads that are not picked up on a schedule. So basically they call when they're ready to be picked up. Uh, we didn't have a fee in our fee schedule. So we added that one. Uh, then what we went ahead and did was the BPW has a number of fees that they charged if they came out and fixed a stop sign you ran over or a utility pole or something like that. <coughs> so we went ahead and included those into the fee resolution. And then the third thing is that we did um, if our last fee resolution was getting long and it was, we just added a new section at the end of it every time we came up with a new set of, of fees that we needed to, to charge. So you might go from fire and rescue fees to all of a sudden garbage fees to copy fees. And so we, look, we found some other ones out there that had kind of broken it down. Aaron did a good job researching those and tried to set them up so they're in groupings or departments. So if you want to know all the charges, the police department charges, they're all together and everything that the uh, the, the library charges, they're all together. and Just make it easier for people to search. Those are the th changes being presented to you tonight. Questions? Gentlemen? Audience? All right. And your vote, please. And that is approved 7-0. Resolution 6737 has been passed and adopted. 
Next is an ordinance, ordinance amending section 302-A of the subdivision ordinance of the city of Beatrice, ordinance number 98-6, relating to administrative subdivisions. I move that said ordinance be given number 21-31, the title thereof be approved, the rules be suspended, and said ordinance be read by number only three times tonight. Second. By Claybo, seconded by Bill's Bach, that the ordinance be given number 21-31, the title thereof approved, the rules suspended, and the ordinance be read by number only three times tonight. Motion to suspend the rules is not debatable. Your vote, please. That is approved 7-0. Ordinance number 21-31 by number the first time, ordinance number 21-31 by number the second time, and ordinance number 21-31 by number the third and final time. I move that ordinance number 21-31 be passed and approved. Second. Moved by Claybaugh, seconded by Billsbach, that ordinance number 21-31 be passed and approved. Any further discussion needed, gentlemen? In the audience? And your vote, please. And that is approved as 7 <coughs> Ordinance number 21-31 has been passed and adopted. Next item is the public forum. Purpose of the public forum is for the presentation of an item by the general public to the city council for consideration at a later date. No discussion or action will be taken by the city council at this time. Is there anyone here for the public forum? All right, seeing none, we will move on to item number seven and go into the administrator's report. Uh, just a couple of highlights that I want to touch on for everybody. First is Scott Street. Uh, the information I have says that Scott Street should be open to the public for traffic uh, flow on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, but by Wednesday morning it should be available for traffic. Um, we will present to you at the next City Council meeting a contract for the Big Blue River access. Um, so we've been working on that. We've kind of changed the scope of the project a little bit, made it a little bit smaller. Uh, worked with the contractor who had the low bid on the first one. He's willing to honor his unit prices, and so we've adjusted that then accordingly, and we'll be bringing that contract back to before this body uh, our meeting on July 6th for approval. Um, hopefully, we have that done yet this year. Um, and then finally, thing is, is budget. It is budget season. We are working on those. Uh, so once again, if you guys have any particular projects or ideas that you'd like us to present or work on getting programmed into the budget, uh, now's the time to start coming up with those things, and so we'll work on uh, bid estimates and get them prepared and put them into the budget. When will we see the preliminary numbers? Uh, we just started going over it with department heads this last week. I would anticipate that we'll do that uh, probably through the rest of June, um, probably something, I'd say the last, latter half of July, probably the first time you'll see a preliminary budget, last half of July, early August. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody have any questions of Tobias? Gentlemen? Anyone from the audience? All right, with that, our next regular scheduled meeting is going to be on July 6th. And note that it is a Tuesday because the 4th of July falls on a Sunday. That Monday is going to be a holiday for city employees and probably will not be a work session unless something uh, major comes up on the 28th. So with that, uh, July 6th will be our next city council meeting. Mr. Claybaugh? I move that the meeting be adjourned at 7.14 p.m. Second. Moved by Claybaugh, seconded by Billsbach. The meeting be adjourned at 7.14 p.m. Your vote, please. That's approved 7-0. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.